Hi guys, here we are back in my space. So there's one thing you're going to learn from me today, and probably that's the only thing, is my video skills suck. So last night I posted a picture on the Facebook groups and I forgot to push go on the camera, you guys. So there was no video and a couple people have asked if I could repeat the process of the modifying and push go. So I'm trying. So I came in this morning and I did a piece and here's what happens. Either my video sucks and my pour is amazing or my pour sucks and my video is great. So I'm having problems with my camera on my phone right now and it seems to be adjusting light accordingly. So this pink blob is just me trying to trick my camera. So we're gonna pour out a black background. This is black onyx. I'm not going through the whole paint spiel again with this modified bit. I am probably gonna post the picture before. Um, it comes out in the video as really washed out in light colors and it is nothing like that. It is super bright and the colors are just pounded in there. So I apologize in advance for terrible video skills. And I'll try to kind of get everything working with this pour. No promises. All right, so because we're doing black and black, so we're gonna put some, first we're gonna swipe. I'm not gonna transfer this one, we're just gonna swipe. So this is white. Uh, North Shore White, it's a Walmart brand, cheapy cheapy Walmart brand. And then we're going to use, we're going to use Acrylic Brown, this is Neon Orange, right out of the bottle. This is also from the dollar store. And then we're going to add some Golden Ochre from Amsterdam. And a little bit of Silver Bim Gel. A little bit and a little bit and a bit more. And then let's add some Interference Red. And I'd like to get a pop of pink in there. Okay, so this is Montemart pink. It was hot pink, but I dumped the black stick in, so now it's not as pink as it was. But it'll work. And then we're gonna swipe. So let's swipe in white. And hopefully, if I can find my swiping knife, hopefully we can come up with something pretty and we can modify, but Nothing really is working in my favor today. Of course, now I can't find a palette knife. Oh my God, are you kidding me? All right, I found it. Okay, we're gonna put our swipe right onto a palette knife. So this is Amsterdam Standard White. It's quite thick. Uh, my choice to have it this thick. And we're gonna put a little bit of Look at my paint pots, they're just caked in paint. A little bit of golden ochre. All right, my friends, let's do this. Okay, there's our first swipe. I pushed too deep on that section. And then I'm gonna come back in the other way. Same color. All right, hopefully you guys can see yellow and orange and pink. So we're just gonna give that a second. My white cell mix is really, really thick and I 
kind of want a little bit of negative space. So I think we're just going to, let's just stretch this out a little bit first. My glasses are so dirty I can't see. All right, um, let's just finger paint here for a second. So we're just creating a negative space so that there are black lines in between the colors so that we have more options for the modifying part. My last piece came out really, really nice, really nice, and I, I just totally messed the video up, which is kind of a bummer, but we'll see what we can do. I'm not going through the whole thing. I'll probably post a video on Facebook, not Facebook, YouTube. I'll probably post a video apologizing in advance for crappy, crappy video. Um, but it'll kind of give you an insight into my technique and kind of how I go about achieving some of these effects. And I also talked a lot about my pouring medium, which I have changed again um, to compensate for a bare 8300. So watch the video and just bear with, bear, bear with the pour quality, you guys. All right, so first thing I have to do is I need to get some paint off my glasses because I can't see a damn thing. So I'm gonna put you on hold for just a jiffy. All right, I'm back and I can see. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spin this out another couple of spins and just spread that pattern out. All right, I think that will work for this purposes. So first thing we're gonna do guys, same as always, if you're new to my channel, um, I don't work with fancy tools, I work with very basic implements. So the first thing is a nail manicure thing. Uh, you can get them from Amazon, you can get them from the dollar store, and we're just gonna pick a line anywhere and we're going to make some modifications so first thing i'm going to do is get rid of this concentration of orange because i don't like it and then we're going to pick a line so i'm going to start right here and we're just making really really easy movements and the more contrast the better off you are but not necessary i don't like this yellow I don't like that whole bit actually. So let's maybe put a little bit of white through there. White swipe. Let's just try to soften this a bit. Okay, while that's developing, we're just going to keep making lines. So you can make lines anywhere you want. And they're simple little lines. There's nothing fancy about it. I'm just going through. I'm wiping off each time so that I'm not dragging paint, colored paint through the black or black paint through the color. But I do do that as well. Let's just keep working on this. So the wider you angle you hold your stick, the bigger the line. So if you want a really fat line, then hold it on a really, really, really sharp angle. If you want a thin line, then hold it upright. 
and that really dictates the width of your lines and how like just how you want to do it so we're going to go in here I don't want to ruin those cells because they're quite pretty don't mind taking these ones so let's go this way again really really simple movements I'm not going to do this piece as detailed as the last I'm just going to invite you to watch the terrible quality video and learn learn from that one because that one is quite a quite a piece to see I think so you can get really really carried away and sometimes less is more sometimes more is more so don't be afraid to just keep playing with it and keep working it and if you don't like something you can change it you can add to your paint you can take away you don't have to ever be satisfied with the way it is so if you didn't like you know say this little bit here just go in with a popsicle stick and and hit it with black all right so i'm going to i'm going to get rid of this orange dot daub and I'm just going to hold it on a fairly wide stick, wide stick, wide angle, and I'm going to come in right there. So I'm going to take out that. So my last piece, I went through a lot more details. Um, I'm on my way to pick up my granddaughter. So this is a speed pour. But we'll try to go with as many things as the last time and hopefully you can see um we're not going to add any more little lines right now well actually we are because i don't like this i don't like this dot here it was an air bubble so we're going to make another one and just pretend that was never there so my last one i went through all sorts of little tips and tricks uh, you can go back in now you've made your little wingy things and just gently pull that paint back out and just create some little points let's pull this pink so if you want to take it right back you can go down to the white and pull the white right through Gentle, gentle movements. But they all add interest to your piece. And you can, you know what, when I started doing this, you guys, it was just kind of an interesting way to play and doodle in my paint and maybe create something out of nothing, really. Um, and, it, and it works, it's quite effective. They sell incredibly well. So there's, there's your, your contrast. So we're taking the white all the way out into the black. So it gives you a really, a much more detailed account of how pretty these little lines are. All right, so my next tip and trick that I told you, another little movement I like to take is just to take your popsicle stick. This is a wide one from Walmart. And you're going to pick a line and if it's a wide line you're going to rock it back and forth and just you're just pinching either side of the black together and it creates this kind of a funky little chain um, if you don't can't reach side to side you can do it in two sections if you don't have a bigger stick this is the biggest popsicle sticks that I have um, but just rock it So the Walmart paint is quite stretchy, which is why I really like it. But sometimes when I'm picking up like here, I get these little sort of tendrils and I, I don't like that. I like really crisp lines. So sometimes you just have to go back over it. Let's um Let's, let's break this up as pretty as that is. So 
you can make little lines. So I use a variety of tools. I'm just going to go through my whole thing again, you guys. I use a variety of tools. Uh, toothpicks work really well for fine lines. These manicure implements work extremely well. And the other thing that works really, really nicely is those dental picks. And so right now we're just pulling some fine detailed lines. Again, we're just adding interest, super gentle movement. And the tidier lines now, the crisper the outcome in the end. So it's really, really valuable to just spend a little bit of time and just make nice movements. Let's um let's break up this orange line. So I already know that I have I think too much pillow on this. And I did on my last pour too. So we're going to we're gonna give this a spin. And I said on my last pour, it's a really good way for me to tell if my paint consistency is the way I like it because as much as we're gonna lose some of it, the majority of the pattern is gonna be right there. So let's spin it. All right. So everything is working as I like it to work. So you can see where the pattern just spread out a tiny bit and we just really got rid of some of that base paint off the bottom because I had put too much on. And then we're just gonna keep playing with this a little bit, not a lot. So my last piece, I, I over modified just so that you guys all could walk through the whole process and I think we're going to do the same with this. I'm not I'm not liking this blob of orange. No, that's any better. All right, so the last piece we added some dots and we're going to use the same the same tool that we use for everything else and we're just going to add some pretty colors um, let's do pink my dirty pink so we're just going to dip our manicure tool into the pink paint and we're just going to pick an area and we're just going to add some little embellishments so you don't have to dip each time you can dip once and just kind of go all the way up if you want your lines or your dots to get smaller and smaller just dip it once if you want the same symmetrical dots, then I would just dip when you find, when you feel that your dots are changing and it's necessary, then dip again. Um, pink's not the greatest color on this. It's okay on white. All right, let's, uh, mum, 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 mum. I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. I don't really want to go pink. All right, so let's put some pink dots on the black paint. Let's go down here, one dot, and you can make them as big or as small as you want by the amount of paint you put on your stick, or like I said, if you want a bigger dot, dip it again. I tend to start with big, and then I just kind of let it tail off, trail, I can't even talk today, you guys, trail off. Okay, let's find a different color. Let's put some different colored dots. I want to say white maybe, because white are going to give you your contrast. So let's put some white ones somewhere. Kind of don't, I don't know where. 
I just don't know today, you guys. I might just leave it. The only thing I would like to get rid of is, uh, still I don't like that orange thing in the center. Not perfect, but it's better. I kind of think I still have too much base on here. We're going to spin this again. So a little bit more paint came off and a couple of my dots are no longer dots, they're ovals. Okay, what are we gonna do with this orange thing? I don't like it at all. Should just keep doing finger dabs. All right, let's get rid of that. All right, that's better. So, like I said, you don't ever have to be happy with that. You can change things. You could just keep going with this if you want and add all kinds of small little lines. We can do a few right now and just keep going, you guys. Okay, I think all in all, I'm okay with that. It's not amazing. My other piece was really, really pretty. And a little bit more intricate and a little more detailed, but right now, I don't really have a ton of time. And I say that and I can see a thousand things I would like to do. I'm gonna just pink this up a tiny bit. that one and let's just put some in here All right, you guys, I'm quitting because I have a grandbaby to pick up. So I really hope that this video is at least saturated and pounded in colors because all of my pieces are and I just a disaster with video. All right, I'm going to put you in hold. 
All right, there we are from above. Um, yeah, I think that's what I need to do is I need to kind of lock it down and make it really, really dark. So I don't know if we can zoom in, but we'll try. Oh, that's okay. So now you can see all these intricate little details. Um, my pouring medium I have changed, so please watch the video before this and ignore the fact that it's in and out of focus and the color is really crappy because it's all these same colors. All right, my friends, pour happy, stay safe. I'm glad that I kind of got this dialed in. Uh, you guys can all do this. You know what? It's really simple little movements, and I told everybody in the last video uh, my consistencies, my pouring medium mix, and you know what? Just tweak it, guys, to suit yourself. All right, take care, bye.